Hey guys, it's Jager262 and welcome back to Armored Warfare News. Now, I'm making this video because this article just came out and I really didn't think that this was really going to be a problem, but there's some good news and some bad news depending on how you look at it. Now, this is obviously the update for Spirit Haven. Uh, like I told you, we have only half the vehicles now, two of five. Um, there's also only half of the special operations slash story and just trying to get that out and I believe I told you guys last time I made a video that usually from when they release the mock-ups of the last vehicle it's about a month out and we saw that only a couple weeks ago so this is a relatively quick turnaround to get this schedule and they're actually telling us exactly when we're going to get these new vehicles so as you can see down here, the next three vehicles will be added at the end of March. The final special operations mission will be the first two weeks of April, probably. And then a major yet unannounced event <laughs> will be coming out mid-April. I don't know what that could be, but the only two important things are these and really just the three vehicles. And why that's so important is that places it end of March. We're about at the month mark since the Spirit Haven season went out. So it's only been around for a month, just a little bit less than a month, really. Um, and so to get these new vehicles out to us that early is really interesting because this has never really happened when they split up tech trees. Like with the French tech tree, the American Dream tech tree, it was you got one half of the tech tree in one quarter and then you waited for the next calendar quarter or about three months before the rest of it came out. So this is actually really early. The reason that's good news but sounds like bad news is the reason why they're giving us a schedule. Um, apparently, the COVID-19 pandemic, you want to call it that, there is at least enough cases and enough concern around the world right now concerning COVID-19 that it has actually impacted their staff and their production timetables. So that's really bad news. Uh, I didn't think it would affect developers or the actual studio which puts this together, but it has. So I thought I'd let you guys know that even video games are being affected right now as the world kind of shuts down uh, due to coronavirus. The good news is, is that compared to the French, the American Dream, and even the Israeli vehicles, this is the earliest turnaround between getting one half of the tech tree and the other one. And it, also, it was also smaller than all of those, so that is also a factor. There's only five vehicles this time instead of, I think, seven for American Dream. And, of course, French was the entire tech tree. I mean, it was a whole ten vehicles. So, with having five, yeah, it shouldn't have taken as long as the other two. But even though they're telling us that all this is being delayed and they're going to do it as quickly as possible, which is great... Keep in mind, this is still a lot faster than in the past. So for me, as a, as one of the players, this is all good news. Although, I hope that everybody over at my games is alright, and I hope the studio is doing well, and I hope everybody out there is staying safe and playing a lot of Armored Warfare as you guys self-quarantine. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the battlefield, but that's about it. That was just a quick update to let you know that very soon we are finally going to get the AS-21, the K-153, and the K-2 Black Panther in Armored Warfare. So, very exciting stuff. I missed what is becoming a global crisis, unfortunately. So, as always, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you want any more news. Or you want to be notified, I should say, not if you want more news, but if you want to be notified when I start doing more news videos as I get information about the game. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.